Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're looking for some simple and quick ways to earn lots of cash really fast in GTA Online, then you're in luck because we're going to be discussing the most effortless and expeditious ways to earn money for solo players in this game following Rockstar's most recent update. Some of the payout changes here I believe players are going to appreciate at all sorts of their GTA Online journeys, whether you're a beginner or a veteran player, and this video will also serve as your comprehensive solo money making guide for GTA GTA Online for this week, so as we get started, if you enjoy this video or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it, and if you want to stay up to date with everything GTA Online and Rockstar Games, then please consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. Jumping in, let's just go over the bonuses really fast and then we'll talk about the strategies here. So, starting off, we have double money and RP on all special cargo cell missions, double money and RP on special vehicle work, double money, RP, and AP on the Arena Wars content, as well as triple money and RP on exporting mixed good missions, as well as the community series jobs. So, let's start off talking about those crate warehouses. GTA Online's cargo warehouses have consistently ranked as a top tier money making method in this game, kind of no matter where you are in your GTA Online journey. And with the 2022 updates that Rockstar Games gave out, they've supercharged this venture by introducing two really fresh profit channels. This week, they're offering a 100% increase and payout like we discussed as well, which is just absolutely insane. And so this means that if you have a large crate warehouse, it will be selling for over $4,440,000 if you have all 111 crates stocked. And what's unique about these warehouses is that you can have up to five large warehouses if you want each with the potential to sell for over $4.44 million each. So selling all five of your warehouses is going to give you $22,200,000 in a single week. And that's actually just as small as your payout will be if you do the absolute bare minimum. And there are actually ways to increase the total sale value even further, which we're gonna be mentioning a little bit later on. But to kick things off, buying a cargo warehouse isn't really straightforward. Instead of the usual maze bank foreclosures route, you will have to snag a CEO office via the Dynasty 8 executive website. In essence, no CEO office means no cargo warehouse. And if your pockets are deep, perhaps to the tune of maybe $50 million, you might fancy the Maze Bank Tower. But if you're watching your wallet, for example, then the $1 million Maze Bank West is a solid pick. Locations aside, both offices serve the same purpose here. Those are just standard prices as well, but remember this week all offices and warehouses are 30% off, so definitely jump in. Now, once your CEO office is in the bag, head inside, activate the interaction menu, and appoint yourself as a CEO or VIP. Next, on your office computer, you'll spot the cargo segment displaying a range of cargo warehouses. They come in three sizes, small, medium, and large, holding 16, 42, and 111 crates respectively. The large warehouse, despite the hefty price tag, is a gold mine due to the bulk sale capability. And for the pros, owning up to five of these warehouses can sidestep the cooldown after your crate sourcing for one warehouse, which is going to streamline your operations. While you may be tempted to save some money on a budget-friendly warehouse, a well-located premium one could be a very good investment here, and that's what I recommend. And once you're all set with the warehouse picks, it's time to get those cash registers ringing. So here's the cargo business in a nutshell. You invest money to pinpoint crate locations on the map and buy those crates. You embark on a mission to fetch them and then stash them in your warehouse for a future sale mission. When sourcing, always go for the three crate option. It might sting your wallet initially, but it is a time saver in the long run. And remember, the three crate missions might involve a single vehicle or individual pickups. With a five minute cooldown post mission, multiple warehouses can be a godsend to postpone that cooldown or basically skip the cooldown for one warehouse and sourcing for a second one. Like I said, 2022 also ushered in a neat feature allowing you to delegate crate sourcing to your warehouse staff for $7,500 per crate. This passive income approach requires 48 minutes of your time and you as a player don't even need to be logged into GTA Online for these technicians to go out and source your crates. They'll either source one, two, or sometimes even three crates for you if you're lucky with that $7,500 purchase assignment. And if you're considering selling now, keeping your stock to nine or fewer crates guarantees one single delivery vehicle, which used to be ideal for the old method for solo players in public sessions who wanted short and easy deliveries. But again, thanks to the 2022 update, you can also seal deals in invite only sessions, minimizing your disturbances during your mission, minimizing the trolls and the griefers. And remember, a well-stocked warehouse also fetches better prices per crate. Now, the sales might seem straightforward, but of course, be on guard for enemies here because those seeking an adrenaline rush can venture into public lobbies for a 2% boost in sales of these crates 
per player with up to 20 players in the lobby, but tread with caution there, because in the event of a botched sale, all you need to do is swiftly hop into another online session to stop a game save, and that safeguards most of your crate inventory. And then for the cherry on top, you can also trick out your delivery vehicles like the boat, plane, and trucks at your cargo warehouse to amplify their prowess on the roads. Now that we've got these basics out of the way, let's talk about some helpful tips for making everything that much more efficient and systematized. One thing that's going to help you out a lot is the Oppressor Mark II, and that's going to be your best friend. It can be stored inside of your terabyte, which is also a valuable asset this week. You can request your terabyte between your cargo warehouses, drive your Oppressor back inside, and start a new source mission for another warehouse. Complete that mission, return to your warehouse, and then head back to your terabyte and repeat this. This method is effective because you can park your terabyte next to warehouses, reducing the time between source missions to just a few seconds. Now, if you don't have a terabyte, another efficient strategy is to just change your outfit as soon as you complete a source mission through the interaction menu. This is going to ensure that the game saves, preventing any potential bugs. And once saved, you can set your spawn location to your CEO office and find a new session and basically use that to teleport there. If you're on next-gen console, the load times are going to be extremely short especially in those invite only sessions and that means the time to teleport and transfer between sessions is going to be like less than 20 seconds or so it's not super good on xbox one or ps4 because of the load times but i digress now another thing i want to point out is do not ignore the export mixed goods missions which pop up every 48 in-game minutes at your office for delivery these offer fifty thousand dollars per delivery vehicle by default this week. If you watch last week's money guide, they are very similar to the ammunition contracts at your bunker. They're also paying out triple money, which means $150,000 per delivery that you can do every 48 real life minutes this week. These deliveries are quite simple and straightforward. You just head to your office, talk to your assistant at the front desk and select the export mixed goods option. From there, exit the office, travel to the truck marked on your minimap. The truck is always going to be located at any of your warehouse locations. It's just gonna be a random one. And then all you need to simply do is get in the truck and drive that truck to the docks to drop it off for your payout. At most, these are gonna take five to six minutes at most, and it's gonna be an excellent way to make additional revenue while you passively or actively source your crates to fill up your warehouses. Now, just in case you were wondering as well, no, these export mixed goods deliveries do not subtract the stock from your warehouses and the crates you've sourced themselves. These are totally separate, and so you don't even need to have any crates in any of your warehouses to do these deliveries if you so choose. So those were the two best ways of making money fast, easy, and solo with the bonuses this week in GTA Online. As usual, you can also take advantage advantage of the other bonuses this week on Arena Wars, the community series jobs, or of course the special vehicle work if you so choose. Definitely keep up with your other businesses as you see fit. Attempt your RC Bandito time trials and your Junk Energy time trials daily. Do your HSW time trial for the week, etc. And just diversify your income so you can keep the game fresh so you can continue grinding. With all that said, we're going to wrap things up right here. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video today, and if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with all the best GTA Online, Red Dead Online, and Rock, Star Games content, then please consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to follow me over on Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube, and you're more than welcome to ask me any questions on those platforms. You can follow me at Hazardous HDTV, and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. With that being said, thank you all so much for watching, everyone. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next GTA Online video. Adios, amigos.